Welcome to another episode of the True Crime Tales. Today we are going to explore the story of Detective Mercer in a tale called Shattered Reflections. Now for our story. Detective Alex Mercer had seen it all. The gritty streets, the dark alleys, the twisted minds. Yet nothing could have prepared him for the chilling case that would unfold in the heart of the city. It all started with a cryptic message scrawled in blood on the mirror of a ritzy penthouse. The victim, a prominent art collector named Victor Thornton, lay lifeless on the plush carpet. The message read, Art is pain. Pain is Art Mercer, a seasoned detective with a reputation for solving the unsolvable. Couldn't shake the feeling that this was more than just a murder. It was a twisted game, and the city was the canvas. As Mercer delved into Thornton's life, he discovered a web of secrets that connected him to an underground world of high-stakes art forgery. The victim wasn't just a collector, he was a puppet master, pulling the strings of an intricate scheme involving stolen masterpieces and duped billionaires. The detective's investigation led him to a mysterious artist known only as The Remnant, this elusive figure seemed to leave a trail of shattered lives in his wake, each victim mirroring an iconic piece of art. Mercer realized that the remnant wasn't just killing. He was creating a dark masterpiece with the blood of his victims. As the body count rose, Mercer raced against time to decipher the twisted clues left behind. Each crime scene was a puzzle, and the remnant reveled in the cat and mouse game. The city became a canvas of fear, with every shadow concealing a potential threat. Mercer's pursuit led him to the city's forgotten underground art scene, where forgers and thieves rubbed shoulders with the city's elite. As he closed in on the remnant, Mercer faced betrayal from unexpected quarters. The line between hunter and hunted blurred, and he began to question if he was the one being played. The final showdown took place in an abandoned gallery, a haunting space filled with broken canvases and shattered dreams. Mercer confronted the remnant in a surreal battle of wits and wills. The detective, fueled by a relentless determination for justice, uncovered the true identity of his adversary, a disgraced artist seeking revenge for a stolen legacy. In the end, the gallery became a symphony of sirens as Mercer apprehended the remnant, bringing an end to the macabre masterpiece. The shattered reflections of the victims were finally laid to rest, and the city breathed a sigh of relief. But as Mercer looked at the broken canvases and fractured lives, he couldn't help but wonder if the shadows would ever fully recede, or if they would forever cast a haunting presence over the city's soul. Months passed, and the city slowly returned to its routine, but the echoes of the remnant's dark artistry lingered. Mercer couldn't shake the feeling that there were more secrets waiting to be unearthed. One day, a mysterious package arrived at the precinct. Inside, Mercer found a carefully crafted replica of Edvard Munch the Scream, with a note that simply said, the city's soul remains fractured the detective knew it wasn't over. The remnant had left one final piece of his twisted legacy, a puzzle waiting to be solved. Mercer delved back into the underworld of forgery and deception, determined to uncover any remnants of the remnant's influence. As Mercer followed the trail, he discovered a network of collaborators who had aided the remnant in his vengeful spree. Each thread he pulled unraveled a new layer of the conspiracy, leading him to question the very fabric of the city's art scene. The investigation took Mercer to hidden galleries, clandestine auctions, and secret societies where art and crime intertwined. Along the way, he encountered enigmatic figures who seemed to dance on the edge of madness. The more he uncovered, the more he realized that the remnant was just one piece of a larger, more malevolent puzzle. As the detective closed in on the truth, he found himself entangled in a web of corruption that reached the highest echelons of society. The city's elite had been using art as a cover for their illicit activities, and the remnant had been the instrument of their reckoning. 
In a climactic confrontation Mercer faced, not only the remnants of the remnant's legacy, but also those who had manipulated him from the shadows. The true puppet masters revealed themselves, and the detective had to navigate a treacherous maze of lies, deceit, and deadly consequences. In the end, Mercer uncovered a conspiracy that went beyond art and crime, a sinister plot that threatened to shatter the very foundations of the city. As the truth emerged, he faced a choice, expose the corruption and risk everything, or let the shadows continue to manipulate the city's destiny. In a final act of defiance, Mercer chose justice over silence. The revelation sent shock waves through the city, exposing the hidden underbelly of power and greed. The shattered reflections began to heal as the corrupt were brought to justice. Yet, as Mercer stood in the aftermath, he couldn't shake the feeling that the city's soul was forever scarred. The remnant's legacy had left an indelible mark, a reminder that even in the pursuit of justice, the shadows could never be fully banished. The fallout from Mercer's revelation sent shockwaves not only through the city's corridors of power, but also through the detective's own life. The higher-ups in the police department, some with ties to the exposed corruption, viewed Mercer as a threat. He found himself isolated, his once-loyal colleagues now eyeing him with suspicion. Undeterred, Mercer continued to dig deeper, knowing that the roots of corruption ran deep. He forged unlikely alliances with those who had also been betrayed by the system, creating a clandestine network of truth-seekers within the city. As Mercer navigated this dangerous new landscape, he discovered that the Remnant had left behind a series of encrypted messages. These messages hinted at a grander scheme, a plan that transcended the boundaries of the art world and bled into the very heart of the city's power structure. The detective's pursuit of the truth led him to a forgotten asylum on the outskirts of the city. Within its decaying walls, he uncovered the remnants of a secret society that had manipulated events for centuries. The society saw itself as the architects of chaos, using art as a tool to control minds and shape destinies. Mercer's investigation unveiled a chilling connection between the society and a string of unsolved crimes throughout history. From stolen masterpieces to political assassinations, the Remnant and his predecessors had been mere pawns in a grand game played by the puppet masters. As Mercer drew closer to exposing the society's existence, he became a target. The once shattered reflections of his past haunted him as he faced threats from within and outside the police force. The detective's journey became a battle not only for justice but for his own survival. In a pulse-pounding climax, Mercer confronted the leaders of the secret society in a hidden chamber beneath the city. The air was thick with tension as he unraveled the threads of their intricate plot. The puppet masters, cornered and desperate, revealed the true extent of their influence. With the city teetering on the brink of chaos, Mercer made a choice that would alter its destiny. He exposed the society's machinations to the public, triggering a wave of outrage that swept through the streets. The once powerful puppet masters found themselves on the run, their carefully constructed world crumbling around them. In the aftermath, as the city began to rebuild, Mercer stood alone in the shadows. The remnants of the remnant's legacy had been laid to rest, but the scars remained. The detective knew that the battle against corruption was ongoing, that the shadows would always seek to reclaim what was lost. As Mercer walked away from the shattered reflections of his past, he vowed to remain vigilant. The city's soul might bear scars, but it was also resilient. And in that resilience, Mercer found hope that one day, the shadows would be nothing more than a fleeting memory, a dark chapter in the city's history. Months turned into years, and Detective Alex Mercer became a symbol of resistance against corruption. While the city slowly healed, the scars of the past lingered in the collective memory. Mercer, however, couldn't escape the feeling that the shadows were regrouping, plotting their return. 
In the wake of the revelations, a new wave of civic activism emerged. The citizens demanded transparency, and Mercer found himself at the forefront of the movement. He became a reluctant hero, a figurehead for those who sought justice in a city still haunted by its past. As Mercer continued to investigate, he discovered that remnants of the secret society had infiltrated other power structures. The city's political landscape, corporate boardrooms, and even the police force were tainted by the puppet master's influence. The detective realized that dismantling the society required more than exposing its existence. It demanded a systemic upheaval. A series of anonymous tips led Mercer to a hidden archive containing evidence of the society's activities. The information was a double-edged sword, capable of bringing down the remaining puppet masters but also exposing the identities of those who had been unwittingly manipulated. Mercer faced a moral dilemma. Reveal the truth and risk the city's fragile peace, or continue the fight in the shadows. In a tense showdown, Mercer confronted the remaining puppet masters. The stakes were higher, and the shadows deeper than ever. The society's leaders, desperate to salvage their control, offered Mercer a deal. Silence in exchange for the safety of those whose lives hung in the balance. The detective, torn between duty and compassion, negotiated a compromise. The society's leaders would face justice, but the identities of the unwitting pawns would remain hidden. It was a bitter victory, and Mercer knew that the shadows would forever cast a long, haunting presence over the city. As the last puppet master was led away in handcuffs, Mercer stood alone in the archive, surrounded by the weight of his choices. The city's soul, still scarred, was on the path to recovery, but the detective couldn't shake the feeling that the shadows were never truly vanquished. In the years that followed, Mercer continued his work, vigilant against any signs of corruption. The city, scarred but resilient, learned to balance on the tightrope between darkness and light. The detective's legacy became a cautionary tale, a reminder that the fight against corruption was ongoing and that the true measure of justice was not just in exposing the shadows but in preventing them from returning to claim the city's soul once more. As the years passed, Mercer's commitment to justice became a beacon for those who refused to let the shadows reclaim the city. He formed an unofficial alliance with a handful of trusted allies within the police force, creating a covert unit dedicated to rooting out corruption wherever it festered. Together, they became known as the Guardians, silently watching over the city's fragile peace. The puppet masters, though dismantled, had left a void that others sought to fill. New players emerged from the shadows, each vying for control over the remnants of the secret society's influence. Mercer found himself engaged in a constant game of cat and mouse, tracking down these emerging threats before they could solidify their power. The detective's personal life suffered as a result of his relentless pursuit of justice. Estranged from family and haunted by the ghosts of his past, Mercer became a solitary figure in a city that was still learning to trust its protectors. His only solace was the knowledge that he had prevented the complete collapse of the city's moral fabric. A string of seemingly unrelated crimes hinted at a more sinister force at play Mercer's investigations led him to a mysterious figure known only as the Weaver, a shadowy orchestra-er who seemed to be manipulating events from the background. The Weaver's motives remained elusive, but the detectives sensed a connection to the remnants of the secret society. As the Guardians closed in on the Weaver Mercer faced betrayal from within, one of his most trusted allies was revealed to be a double agent, secretly working to resurrect the Puppet Master's influence. The revelation sent shock wave through the Guardians, forcing Mercer to reevaluate the loyalty of those around him. In a heart-pounding climax, Mercer confronted the Weaver and the traitor within his ranks in a clandestine showdown beneath the city. The true motives of the Weaver were laid bare, a desire for chaos and control, 
a thirst for power that transcended any single organization. As the dust settled, Mercer stood alone in the underground chamber, the traitor apprehended and the weaver seemingly vanished into the shadows. The city once again breathed a sigh of relief, yet Mercer couldn't shake the feeling that the weaver's influence still lingered, a lingering threat that whispered of more challenges to come. In the aftermath, the Guardians regrouped, more vigilant than ever Mercer, scarred but unbroken, continued to watch over the city, knowing that the fight against corruption and darkness was an eternal one. The shadows may have retreated for now, but Mercer understood that they were patient, always waiting for the opportune moment to once again cast their veil over the city's soul. In the conclusion of this ongoing saga, Detective Alex Mercer found himself standing at the crossroads of his relentless pursuit of justice. The city, scarred by corruption and haunted by shadows, had become a place where the line between light and darkness blurred. Mercer, despite his victories, couldn't escape the feeling that the true battle was yet to come. The remnants of the secret society, the weaver's elusive presence, and the constant threat of new players emerging from the shadows kept Mercer on constant alert. The city, though on the path to recovery, remained a fragile tapestry, its threads interwoven with the complexities of power, betrayal, and hidden agendas. As Mercer delved deeper into the mysteries that plagued the city, he discovered a revelation that sent shockwaves through the foundations of his understanding. The puppet masters, thought to be eradicated, had left behind a legacy more insidious than anyone could have imagined. A clandestine network of influence, operating in the shadows for generations, was revealed. In a high-stakes showdown, Mercer faced the true architects of the city's fate. The puppet masters, resilient and adaptable, had evolved into a force capable of manipulating events on a global scale. Their motives, steeped in a dark desire for control, challenged Mercer to confront the very essence of the city's soul. In a climactic battle that unfolded across the city's labyrinthine streets and hidden corridors, Mercer waged a war not just against individuals, but against an ideology that thrived in the shadows. The true test of his mettle lay not in solving crimes, but in dismantling a system that had perpetuated corruption for centuries. As the final pieces fell into place, Mercer stood on the precipice of a new era for the city. The puppet masters, exposed and defeated, left behind a void that demanded something new to fill it. Mercer, weary but resolute, became the architect of change, steering the city towards a future where justice, transparency, and the indomitable spirit of its people would prevail. The epilogue saw a city in the process of rebuilding, not just its physical structures, but its very identity. Mercer, though forever marked by the battles he fought, found solace in the idea that the shadows, while persistent, could be pushed back by the collective strength of those who refused to be consumed by darkness.